Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is April 21st, 2019. Pray everyone is doing blessed today on this Resurrection Day that uh, the world is celebrating. As we have been watching the calendar, we have been watching uh, what is going to be second Passover connected with the timeline of Noah. This coincides with the... Uh, the end of the 70th year of Israel on May 14th. And uh, so I wanted to take a look at a few details today and uh, just uh, kind of bring everything into clearer perspective based on everything that I've already shared. If we look at the timeline of Noah in Genesis 7:4, it says, seven days from now I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. If we go on in Genesis 7:11, it shows us the day that the flood began. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, on the same day, all the fountains of the great deep burst open, and the floodgates of the sky were opened. So we have a seven-day warning that from the 17th day of the second month when the flood began, the ark was closed seven days before that, and that was the final seven-day warning leading up to the beginning of the flood. Now, we have been watching how this coincides with the exact day of the end of the 70th year of Israel, on the 71st birthday of Israel, which is the end of the 70th year, we see that this is the 10th day of the second month. How this coincides with the, the day the ark was closed. But we also understand that this is connected to uh, second Passover in the second month. Now if we go to Exodus chapter 12, we can see that from Exodus chapter 12, the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. So in Passover, in the first month, based on the uh, Passover being on the 14th day. On the 10th day is the day of the triumphal entry when they bring the lamb uh, into the house to examine the lamb for four days. And this is the day of the triumphal entry, the 10th day of the first month, the triumphal entry. But then we have second Passover which is an unfulfilled feast and coincides with the 10th day of the second month, the triumphal entry of second Passover. Numbers chapter 9 explains about second Passover. Many people have been asking on my channel about second Passover. Why do we need a second Passover if we've already had a first Passover? Well, that is why God left for us in the word of God the understanding of second Passover. Second Passover is a feast that has not yet been fulfilled. It is written in the word of God in, in Numbers chapter 9. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or be in a journey afar off, yet he shall keep the Passover unto the Lord. The fourteenth day of the second month. At even they shall keep it, and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. So we have a Passover in the second month. Second Passover. So the 10th day of the second month is the triumphal entry on second Passover. 
And it's the same day that the ark was closed on the 10th day of the second month. Now remember this from 2013 when Barack Obama went to Israel, the greatest event in the timeline of Barack Obama when he went to Israel and confirmed a covenant with them by signing an unbreakable alliance. Just to bring to everybody's attention, this was the day of the triumphal entry. A mockery that Barack Obama made of Jesus Christ by going to his birthplace and not bowing in the Church of the Nativity in the place where Jesus Christ was born. And this happened on the day of the triumphal entry. So this is a key understanding of the uh, revelation of the Antichrist, the triumphal entry. And so on this year, this calendar that we are watching, the end of the fig tree generation, May 14th and 15th, it corresponds with IR 10, the second month, the 10th day. It's the day the ark closes in the book of Genesis. It's the day of the triumphal entry on second Passover. And what I would be expecting then is for the Antichrist to be fully and finally revealed on the last day of Israel's 70th year. This is what I would be watching for on May 14th and 15th. But this will also coincide with the closing of the ark, the triumphal entry and the closing of the ark. Meaning that once that happens, those who have understood ahead of time previous to that will rejoice in this amazing sign that God will give that the ark is closing and that the generation of the fig tree is closing, coming to an end. It is going to be our final warning for the rapture of the church on the timeline of Noah, second month, 17th day, which is the, the day of the flood, and it's also the day of resurrection on second Passover. So this is what I would be watching for, and this is what I wanted to share with you today the Antichrist being fully and finally revealed on what is the triumphal entry date on second Passover, the end of the 70th year of Israel, and the day the ark was closed in the time of Noah. So from May 14th to the 22nd, IR 10 through 17, the timeline of Noah, the second Passover, and the end of the fig tree generation with a final seven-day warning to the beginning of the Great Tribulation and the rapture of the church. So this is just a, a summary an overview of what I have been sharing, but I wanted to present to you that the day the ark closes is also the day of the triumphal entry on second Passover, the tenth day of the second month. Okay? So, uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch my previous videos, I will share a list of all the previous videos in uh, the description box. Okay? I just pray everybody's ready because the time of the return of Christ is upon us and the great tribulation is about to begin. God's word is going to be fulfilled. Seventy years are determined. After seventy years, I will visit my people. Prayer blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.